Hey guys, so I'm sorry for not uploading for so long, but uh, my computer like malfunctioned and the software was completely destroyed because I didn't know that my MacBook Air couldn't handle like large processing files and apparently movies are large processing files. Sorry. But I wanted to come back and give you guys a quick workout. This was only 8x... I can't even count. Eight exercises, um, all legs, and I will be doing a voiceover for it. Um, so, here we'll up for that. And on top of that, basically, this workout I wanted to emphasize time efficiency. So, each of the four supersets that you'll have, well, one is a tricep, but each of the four supersets you'll have will have one higher cardio, higher heart rate move. So, I will you which one that is and the idea is I only had 40 minutes I did all eight exercises four times to start off with you may want to start with two or three times based on your beginning level and then go from there and you'll be able to with time increase your cardiovascular capacity and to do more in a short amount of time and by doing so you get to skip cardio you get it done in a smaller amount of time it's not as fun as like taking this between your lips and like talking to people but it's effective and I enjoyed it so I wanted to share that with y'all and I will have more talking videos later I'm really sorry for the way I look right now I'm about to go to bed and just got my laptop fixed a few hours ago and just had the chance to edit it but I wanted to give you guys an intro so I thought at least this is something I promise I'll look better for the next one and yeah I will guys so here are your four supersets the first one is going to be front step ups four sets of ten per leg and the idea is you don't have to lift something super heavy but you have to be consistent and controlled with your movement and even if you're going as slow as I am in this clip your heart rate will end up shooting up I was sweating after just the first set and you have to do ten per leg so do ten switch to the other side and take as little rest as humanly possible and the other thing I wanted to emphasize here is the idea of pushing through your foot. Out of the two moves in the superset, this is going to be the one that raises your heart rate a little bit more, in my opinion. It varies from person to person, but if I focus on pushing through my heel and using my hamstring more than my quads, then that's what ends up happening because my hamstrings are the weaker of the two. And here it is sped up again. I'm using maybe 15 pound dumbbells here. And uh, some gyms won't let you use the step, but they have like boxes you can use, so look out for those if your gym doesn't let you use them. That's going to be super setted with split squats, and these terrify me. I despise them, but I end up doing them anyway. And so I did 12 per leg using the same dumbbells, nothing super heavy, it's like 15 pounds. And I stop there, don't stop. Don't. No stopping. And just keep going. I end up switching what starting leg I use each set because I realized that the second leg I use ends up being a little bit fatigued from being held on the bench. So I recommend you do that to basically avoid any type of muscular imbalance. This is going to target mostly your quads and your glutes, not as much your hamstrings. But well, we'll get to them, I promise. And again, push through your heel instead of the front of your foot to maintain your balance and to use your core a bit more. The second superset you're going to be doing is side step ups. I don't know if this is the actual name, but we're going to go with it. Again, push through your heel. I'm only holding one dumbbell here because my balance on these is pretty, pretty poverty. So I did 10 on each leg, again, focusing on pushing through my heel. If you can tell, it's kind of difficult in the clip. My toes are going up a bit, and that's to basically ensure that I'm using my heel. It also helps me stand up a bit straighter, not lean as forward, even though I kind of am in this one. And that's going to be the cardio type of move for the superset. And after this, uh, we're going to go to one of my favorite exercises ever. But before that, with your other hand, I usually use put it on my hip, but if I feel like I'm off balance, I will let it float freely in order to figure out how to stand up straight because it avoids, it helps you avoid lower back pain if you just stand up straight. So anything to do that is pretty great. And after that, it's curtsy lunges with a barbell. I think the barbell is like 44 pounds. It's 20 kg, that's all I know. And again, the trick is to push with your heel. The awkward looks a little, the movement looks a little awkward when I do it and that's because 
my torso is longer than my legs so I will have to bend a little forward just by the nature of my proportions but a lot of people would be able to like stand up straight so if you can do that and again this is a bit sped up but push through your heel make sure you're going back as far as you can and this will target more the outer part of your quad and your glutes as well not as much hamstring but we did that before and your third superset because you're halfway done at this point so you're almost there the third one is dumbbell deadlifts so I used I think 35 pound dumbbells and you want to keep them as close to your legs as possible to use your full range of motion, increase your flexibility, and stretch out the muscle more so it's used more. And I also focus on pushing through my heel. If I'm having trouble with that, I'll put 2.5 pound plates underneath the front of my foot in order to emphasize my heel. I didn't feel the need to do that in this set, but it is a useful tip that I've helped with other that's helped with other people who are more quad dominant and in trying to make it so your muscles are more equal that can help and I superseted that with jumping lunges which are obviously the more cardio type move in this exercise this is like I think my fourth set of these so that's why I'm leaning forward and not going as fast as I probably should be but I, if you do fall just start again as soon as you possibly can because these do require more balance than jumping squats would because of the one leg variation part and they're terrible, they're killer. And the fourth exercise is tricep on a cable tower. So any cable tower you find, you're going to use these cable straps that some people actually do ask me about in gyms because they don't know that the gym has them. So I'll insert a picture soon of them, but you put it around your ankle, try and be perpendicular with your body and just push back, again, leading with your heel. And so that's an example of an ankle strap that you may find and these are more narrow ones that also work, they're both equally effective, it's whatever your gym happens to have, or you can buy them off Amazon, they're not that bad. And they are so much fun. I always do these at the end just because I enjoy them, so it's something to look forward to. But the idea is to kick back, and then I lower the weight by 5 pounds, and then do a side variation. And I call them side kicks, but they probably have like a better name, like abductor or something, because that's technically the move. But I do that back to back on the same leg, no resting in between, just so it, the more you fatigue your muscle in a shorter amount of time, the more the muscle fibers will tear and the more the muscle will grow. And that's basically the standard principle of bodybuilding anyway. So I thought that would be helpful. And then after doing it on both legs, I did more jumping lunges because I didn't feel like doing squats and these are more challenging anyway. So I did 20, so 10 per leg. And I did that four times through, and you guys are done. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.